Hey guys, uh, there are some prerequisites uh, which we need to know before we derive uh, the output of an LTI system. Okay, and what is an LTI system? I will let you know later. But we'll discuss about uh, discuss some of the prerequisites which we needed in this video. Uh, the first prerequisite is uh, any discrete time signals. Any discrete time signals. Discrete time signals can be represented can be represented in terms of terms of uh, time shifted and scaled version of scaled version of version of unit impulse function impulse function so any discrete time signals can be represented in terms of uh, combination of so I'll just put one more word here combination of combinations of in terms of combination of time shifted and scale version of unit impulse function okay so let me just tell you what is what do we, what do we mean by this okay okay before that you know what is unit impulse function right the unit impulse function is denoted by delta of n i'm talking about discrete here okay so delta of n delta of n is actually 1 at n equal to 0 and equal to 0 otherwise right so it is defined only at n equal to 0 and its amplitude is one and equal to zero otherwise so this is how unit impulse function is defined okay now say say I need a signal discrete time signal something like this so I want I don't want at n equal to zero so I want at n equal to three and I want its amplitude to be two fine now how do we represent this in terms of unit impulse function so this is nothing but I hope you know the time shifting of a discrete time signal uh, the concept of time shifting right so this is nothing but what delta of n delta of n signal shifted right three times I repeat again delta of n signal shifted right three times so this impulse goes to right side three three times from zero and its amplitude is scaled by 2 previously it is 1 now amplitude is scaled by 2 so delta of n shifted right 3 times and its amplitude is scaled by a factor of 2 now how do we write it in terms of mathematical equation if the sh shifting is right it is plus right delta of n plus n0 if the shifting is left it is delta of n minus n0 delta of n shifted I'm sorry I'm sorry if shifting is right delta of n minus n naught and shifting is left it is delta of n plus n naught what do you mean by this delta of n shifted right n naught times this is delta of n shifted left n naught times so here I have shifted delta of n right three times so it is delta of n minus three and I scaled its amplitude by two so x of n is nothing but two times delta of n minus three okay let me give one more example x of n and i want a discrete time signal something like this i want at n equal to minus 2 and its amplitude i want it to be minus 1 so how do we represent this in terms of delta function this is nothing but delta of n shifted left two times one two delta of n shifted left two times and its amplitude scaled by minus one right so delta of n plus two I shifted this delta function two time left and I scaled it by minus one minus one but I can write this as minus of delta of n plus two okay so similarly 
you take up any samples in any value of n and if you scale any uh, scale with any amplitude i can actually represent it in terms of unit impulse function okay let me give you one more say i need something like this uh, at an at an equal to say 5 and i want its amplitude to be minus 4 so how do i represent this in terms of delta function unit impulse function so it is nothing but delta of n shifted right 5 times and its amplitude is scaled by a factor of minus 4 how do we write it delta of n shifted right so it is minus 5 and its amplitude is scaled by minus 4 so this is nothing but minus 4 times delta n minus 5 fine now say I need the signal like this this is minus 2 this is 0 and this is plus 2 and this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 this is my x of n how do I represent this x of n in terms of unit uh, impulse function I mean first of all can I represent this yes I can represent let me show you how so I can split this signal into sum of three impulse functions right first signal is contains only this impulse second signal contains only this impulse at n equal to 0 and the third signal contains this impulse at n equal to 1 so I call this first impulse is at as x1 of n so it is 0 this is minus 1 at minus 1 it is minus 2 right and second signal x2 of n is at n equal to minus 1 at n equal to 0 at n equal to 1 I have nothing it is 0 ok and this whole signal and the third signal x3 of n at n equal to minus 1 at n equal to 0 at n equal to 1 this it is 2 Okay, what I did was I split this x of n into three individual samples at their corresponding n values. Okay, at n equal to minus one, minus two, this sam this sample I called it as x one of n. At n equal to zero, it is zero. So this sample I called it as x two of n. At n equal to one, it is two. At n equal to one, it is two. And this sample I called it as x three of n. Okay, now what I do? I add these three signals. When I add these three signals, which is x of n is equal to x1 of n plus x2 of n plus x2 of n plus x3 of n, right? So if I add x1 of n, x2 of n, x3 of n, what do I get? I get x of n, right? But what is the statement I said before? So any discrete time signals, any arbitrary discrete time signals can be represented in terms of combination of time shifted and scaled version of unit impulse function. Okay, so I shifted in time, right? And there is no sample, so I did not shift anything. But here I shifted in time, and I even scaled it here, right? And the combination of this is nothing but my discrete time signal. Okay. But the question is, how do I represent this in terms of delta unit impulse function? How do I represent this and how do I represent this? Okay, now how do I represent this in terms of unit impulse function? This is nothing but delta of n shifted left one time and it is scaled by minus 2. It is nothing but delta of n plus 1 and minus 2, scaled by minus 2. And what is this? 0. Okay, and what is this? Delta of n shifted right one time and scaled by factor of 2, right? So, delta of n minus 1 and it is 2. So, therefore, what is x of n? x of n is nothing but x1 of n and what is x1 of n? Minus 2 times delta of n plus 1 plus what is x2 of n? 0. So, I don't write anything. x3 of n is 2 times delta of n minus 1.
So this is how I can represent this discrete time signal in terms of combination of shifted and scaled version of unit impulse function. Fine. Just to get used to it, I'll just write one more signal x of n 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So I have a sample at 10 equal to 3 is minus 3 is 4. I have nothing here. This is 1. At 10 equal to 0 it is minus 2. And this is 2. And this is 1. And this is 5. I have just randomly plot this sequence x of n. Now how do I represent this in terms of delta function? It is nothing but delta of n shifted first sample will start from the negative side of n how do i represent only this sample in terms of delta of n delta of n shifted left three times delta of n plus three and it's sampled to scale by a factor of four right plus at n equal to minus two i have nothing so it is zero so this is this is nothing but delta of n shifted left one time delta of shifted left one time and it's i did not change the amplitude right it remains 1. Plus, what did I do to delta of n? It is scaled by a factor of minus 2, right? So it is delta of n at n equal to 0 and it's scaled by a factor of minus 2. So this is nothing but minus 2. Minus 2. And what about this? Plus, delta of n shifted right one time and its amplitude is scaled by 2. Plus, delta of n shifted right two time. I did not do anything to sample to it is 1 plus this is delta of n so I am sorry minus 1 minus 2 and this is delta of n minus 3 and sample is scaled by factor of 5 so as a whole I can write it as x of n is equal to 4 times delta of n plus 3 plus delta of n plus 1 minus 2 times delta of n plus 2 times delta of n minus 1 plus delta of n minus 2 plus 5 times delta of n minus 3 ok so the discrete time signal I represented in terms of combination of shifted and scaled version of delta function